What's up everybody? In today's episode of Cars and Cameras, we are reviving a go-kart that Ike bought for $20 from a chicken farm, but we are here to remind you real quick that we just put together this brand new Rascal mini bike at Go Power Sports and it is getting raffled off for charity uh, this Saturday. Raffle tickets are $5 a piece. You can get as many as you want. Uh, proceeds are going to Teen Life. It's an organization that uh, helps uh, and mentors teenagers who are going through tough times. So it's uh, a great cause and this is one heck of a clean mini bike so you can enter at gopowersports.com search rascal raffle or use the top link in the video description enjoy today's episode What's up, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And today on Cars and Cameras, we just picked up a go-kart for $20 from a chicken farm. And today we're gonna give it a new lease on life. It's in the back of Ike's truck. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. I'm not 100% sure, but I think, well, did this come with it? I think so. It doesn't look like it's part of it. I, I, I don't know. I brought it anyways, just in case it was part of it. So uh, it appears to be a live axle, but I think it's one of those uh, five eighths. Yeah, really tiny ones. Yeah. Oh, it's a Murray. It's a Murray Raceway. Nice. Right hand drive. <laughs> I think the frame might be compromised oh really oh yeah it's been it's been welded together It'll so someone fun. broke this thing in half oh wow uh in two places oh yeah i mean it doesn't appear to it's not on the other lengthened. side so it's yeah. not lengthened yeah huh well i well. was about to say i like murray's because they're usually built pretty stout usually yes yeah all right, man, let's roll it in the shop and get a better look. All right. Wow, that's pretty weak, isn't it? Yeah. So. <laughs> Do they seriously just, there's no other support for that? Uh, try turning that steering wheel. Oh yeah, that's that locked up. Uh, we should probably start soaking. Yep. Start everything. soaking her up. Oh cool, they look, give you a little port to oil up that part. She's a soaking buddy. Here we go. If I can get to it. That rusted, huh? Yeah, it's been sitting up for a while, man. Ah. <laughs> Broken. I don't want to have to get a tetanus shot. We've been brainstorming on what we want to do with this project long term. We both really like Murray's. They're typically really stout chassis. The uh, they're overbuilt. They can handle an adult and a lot of power. Uh, so we're thinking, do we want to go with the twin engine setup? One powerful engine? We're not really sure. But today, we're going to see if we can get this old Honda 5 horse. It is a 5 horse, right? It doesn't have any markings on it. I'm, I'm All right. Just, yes. Oh, it's 5 horse? Okay. 5.0, baby! Ooh, it's a 5.0 overhead cam. Belt-driven overhead cam engine. Uh, we're going to see if we can get it going and see what it'll do around the Grand Prix. But I really like this chassis. We move the steering to the center, put one or two powerful engines in the back. This thing is going to be a riot. Oh, you got it? Nice. Chain is dead. Uh-oh. And it still doesn't turn? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Well. 
Maybe I can give her some shocks and see what we can, uh, I don't know, man. Not looking so good. Yeah, we bought this thing and it had been sitting outside and go-karts usually don't like to sit in the rain. I think we've had some that sat in the rain for years and were better than this. I mean, yeah, it's a $20 true. go-kart. It was 20 bucks. It was $20. Uh, and I think, honestly, by far, this one's been the worst one we've gotten for the money. Yeah. But it's $20. Yeah, dude. It's not bad. What do you expect? It's actually the biggest, best frame I've seen for the money. The bones are good. The bones are good. The axle is stuck, and, oh, the engine's not stuck. Nice. That's a plus. Yeah. That's surprising so uh so you want to work on that axle and i'll maybe take a look at the carburetor sounds good i gotta say it's always so satisfying to get one of these old go-karts going again. Yeah. Cause like you just use a lot of hammers and a lot of like PB blaster. And you course. just hit stuff. And cause look at this, we have steering now. It was locked up solid before, working on getting the rear end uh, freed up. But there's t uh, air in all four tires. What is not so promising is this uh, carburetor. Did you open it up? No, I did not, but I'm just giving them a look at the outside of it. I don't know how well you can see in there, but uh, basically there is junk all the way through it. Just dirt, grass, debris. So I'm going to take this bowl off and give it the good old cars and cameras quickie clean. Um, we're thinking about dragging this thing behind a three-wheeler. I think it's getting better. Oh, okay. To free up the axle, but man, if it's better, then yeah. Uh, what we'll also do is check the oil and then spin the engine over with a uh, drill Girl. and put some starting fluid right in the intake port and see, see if it'll light off. Yeah. Dropping the bowl off this carburetor. Gonna take a look. Yeah, it's pretty junky. Uh, float's still working, but it could use a quick clean out. Yeah, what about the bowl? Uh, the bowl itself, pretty junky. It's, the lighting's horrible, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little uh, gross. Um, Ike had a good point. If the inside of our carburetor looks like uh, the contents of my backyard, the inside of the engine probably has also seen this action. So, a little worry about the condition of the engine. But it is a Honda. Yeah, yeah. I say we uh, crank it over with the drill yep. and spray a little starting fluid in it and see what happens. Yeah, so before I really sink any time into this carburetor, let's see if the engine's even worth anything. Yep. Sounds good. All right. So, just like we suspected. Yard. Yeah, look, there's even debris in there. Yep. So, we're going to scoop it out, and we're going to see if this thing will crank over on starting fluid. Oh, yeah, it's, that's pretty gross, dude. Oh, hello. I've never had one of these off. That's kind of cool. It's an looking. interesting looking flywheel, that's for sure. Yeah, that it, the things grab onto... Right oh, you know what we should do? Check the oil. Yes. <laughs> Check the oil. Uh, man? Yeah. It's not good. Water or nothing? Nothing. Ooh. All right, I do not have a lot of faith in this, in engine. this engine. Do we have any Quaker state we can stick in this thing? Oh. Ready? Come on, baby. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, it runs, dude. Yeah. Let's, let's get, it let's a little get rid of that one. <laughs> a little scary. I saw the fear of God in your eyes. You did, didn't you? Yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs>
It's a Honda. It stands up to its name, right? Honda. Dependability. Cool. Let's work on that carburetor. Yep. So, we've decided uh, against trying to clean out this carburetor. We know the engine runs, which is awesome. But, you know, like with any other carburetor rebuild we've almost ever done, including our CT90, you know, you spend an hour or two rebuilding a carburetor and it's never going to be quite like it was new. So instead we're going to uh, upfit this machine with a Makuni 22 millimeter carburetor from gopowersports.com. Uh, we're going to be using their 22 millimeter kit, which includes uh, gaskets, hardware, and an intake manifold for like a Predator or a Tillotson 212. All we needed to do was oversize the manifold uh, holes here where it mounts to the block by about three drill bit sizes. We're also going to need to cut a custom gasket to fit between the head and the uh, manifold here. But other than that, it bolts right up. Uh, we're also going to be using a 420 clutch from gopowersports.com uh, and chain as well. They gopowersports.com is a one-stop shop for all of your go-kart and mini bike needs. Literally, if you need anything between a seat or a steering wheel or steering components, pedals, engine, axle, suspension, they're going to have it for an old Murray like this and most other old go-karts as well. So if you like these parts here and you want to check them out for yourself, uh, you can see them at links in the description of this video. And of course, anytime you place an order with gopowersports.com, let them know that Cars and Camera sent you at checkout. All right, let's get these parts installed. We need to see if we can get that old clutch off. It's really rusted on there. And uh, we'll be riding in no time. We have our carburetor hooked up. We have our chain installed. And we're thinking about installing the factory fuel tank right along that rear frame rail. But in order to do that, we need to make sure the pulse pump works. Yes. And I have it hooked up, and I'm about to crank it over to see what happens. Hit it, man. All right, here we go. Want me to choke it? It's choke is on. There it is. Runs like a dream. That's pretty good. Not bad. Where's the dripping coming from? Oh, we got some dripping. Uh, I it's think it's right from, here. Yeah, it's from the hose not fitting that well. Oh yeah. Not bad. Not bad. So for those who may not be familiar with this, when you have a go-kart or something like that, if you don't have what's called a pulse pump, you need to mount your fuel system above your carburetor or yep. else you won't get fuel going into it. That's right. So a pulse pump is basically a, a little plastic pump that uh, attaches to your uh, crankcase somewhere, right? Uh, this one, yeah, this one's hooking up to the crankcase. Some of them hook up to the intake. Uh, all, it, all you need is some sort of a pulse, which you can get from either or, and it operates a diaphragm in this pump, which pumps, there's a one-way valve, and the fuel will get sucked in, and the only way it has to go out when the pulse relieves is out a certain direction which goes to the carburetor. So these pulse pumps are available at gopowersports.com. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, they're pretty cool. I like to use gravity fed when possible just because that's one less component you need to rely on. Yeah. But uh, they are pretty cool. All right, man. We got our throttle cable hooked up. We're pretty much ready. Yep. We're just going to do a test to see if it works. If the throttle works. Yep. Check the electric start. Yeah. <laughs> Ready when you are. All right, man. Here we go. Hit 
the uh, gas to the floor. Just kind of. I guess. I guess we should have uh, checked for return. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what we're doing, I reckon. Yeah. And I mean, a Murray is a good, strong, solid go kart. It's going to be completely let down by <laughs> our Honda Five Horse. Five point oh. Yeah. And I will say that we've we've used this carburetor and engine setup before, and the Makuni does help. Uh, it does add a little bit of acceleration and top speed, yeah, for performance. But you know, when you're starting with that, it, it doesn't add all that much. That being said, we couldn't get the original clutch off, so we're gonna roll with this one with the original. And so, when it starts coming loose, then we'll put the brand new clutch <laughs> on it. Yeah, but right now we're only in this thing, a carburetor kit and a chain. So I don't know, we're still under a hundred bucks. That's awesome. Which is awesome. And the tires are actually holding air somewhat. Yeah, right? I was surprised. All right, man, I want to see what this thing is going to throw down on the Grand Prix. Okay, can, can we can we? Let's speculate. Yeah, let's speculate. All right, the last engine, or the last go-kart we had up here with that similar setup was the mystery cart mm -hmm. with a 117.56. So... I'm going to say 118. Ooh, wow, I'm going to be optimistic and say somewhere in the 112 range. Really? I'm hoping it's going to be drier than That's it was. That's faster than the Monster Moto 228. Wait, no, that's 114. Uh, What'd you say? Uh, I said 112. 112? That's faster than the Monster Moto 128. That was a wet lap. I'm hoping that it's going to be dry, but it's probably not dry. Uh, there's going to be a couple of places that are pretty, uh, muddy. Um, I'm still going to stick with my, uh, 118. Okay. I don't want you to be right, but I think you're going to be right. So let's go check it out. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! All right, man. I don't need a warm up. I'm going straight for the Grand Prix. Let's get this 112. Okay. Here we go. Wow, it actually seems pretty good. All right, man, are you ready? Oh, yeah. You're just going for it. Yeah. On your mark, get set, go! I'm gonna change my time to uh, 122. <laughs> Cause that thing sounds, it sounds awful. Oh. Oh. Come on, buddy. I hear bad wheel bearings. Come on, baby. <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> Something wrong with that thing. Yeah. Your time was a two. Yeah. Oh five eleven. <laughs> hey. Um, yeah, there's something wrong with that thing. <laughs> yeah. Let me just go up and down the road and see if I can find a uh, good okay. throttle position. Sounds good. Good luck.
Oh. The $20 five horse on a good day Honda is like five horse every once in a while and then the rest of the time it's about a half a horse. So Ike, you wanna hop on it and you can use your wizard powers and- Yeah, yeah, I, I can see uh, what I think is going on. Sounds good. All right. Oh, you're just going for a hot lap, huh? Yes, sir. All right, well, you know the time to beat. Yeah. 2.05, right? Yeah. All right, are you ready? Yeah. On your mark, get set, go. I can hear him yelling out there. You know, when the Honda is going, it's really going. It feels great. It feels all of five, maybe even six, maybe seven horsepower. But then it's been uh, acting up as well. Sounds like he's having a good old time out there. Here he comes. What do you say, man? I say I beat you. You did by five seconds. So two minutes. Two minutes. Yes, sir. Yeah, right? six or seven horsepower but yeah when it's uh running bad it's leaking fuel out of the carburetor i bet you we got a piece of trash from the fuel system stuck in the carburetor all right let's take a look all right you know what we did not put a fuel filter on this thing yeah rookie mistake dude oh well I drop every single screw. I think you did. There's, there, yeah, there's some garbage in here. There was some garbage in the bowl of the carburetor, which could very well have been our problem. Um, and Ike also adjusted the float level because. Um, not not sure if these are supposed to have uh, pressure on them. They they might be just a gravity fed thing. Yeah. That's so true. I did adjust the float level a little bit to try to um, keep it from you know overfilling. Um, I'm hoping that won't make us a little lean on the top end. Well, we're gonna find out. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. On your mark. Get set. Go. Wow, he's already a Pathfinder pass at 36 seconds. That's pretty good.
50 seconds. It was doing so well, it dude. It was doing so well. Yeah, I see it dripping a little bit of fuel from it. What's that? I see it dripping some fuel. Yeah. You want your time? Uh, start with a one at least. Yes. Woo! Victory. 150. No. Your time, uh -huh. sir, was a one. Uh-huh. 35, 66. That's not... Too bad. You would have done the 118 if it didn't start running like doo-doo and probably at the beginning of the woods. That's so disappointing, man. I might just be uh done with the Honda Five horse, man. You think we ought to just go directly to something else? I kind of feel like we should. What do you think? What's the biggest, baddest engine we got here? A 919? Uh <laughs> <laughs> You asked. I don't want to die. <laughs> no, I, I, that's okay. Um, so soggy. Yeah, yeah. You got a little wet on this one. Well, um, you know, maybe... Did you want to try to mount that fuel tank up higher and just go straight gravity, gravity fed? fed? That would be a good test. Yeah, that'd be an interesting test. So we mounted our fuel system a little bit higher. It's completely rigged up, but at this point, we're just trying to get a somewhat respectable lap time up on the board. Yep. So, that being said, are you ready? I'm ready! Meet you at the start line. All right, are you ready? Yes! On your mark, get set, go! Uh-oh. Can you crank me? Yes. On your mark, get set, go! time best though it was not a 118 but it was your fastest yet i thought you were gonna say it was faster than 118 no <laughs> i wish the fastest one yet well did you want to give her a shot I, I think she's about done man what do you think it's got another one in it you gonna go again i mean i'm already muddy man all right i hear you man Wipe the cameras Wipe the cameras <laughs> I cannot believe it. Well, the good news and the bad news. Okay. Which one? I was faster, but not 118. Oh, no, you're 118. Yes! <laughs> What's the bad news? There's no bad news. Yes! Oh, nothing. I can't believe it, but you hit the 118 you thought it would hit. And if the engine was running better, I think it would have hit a 114 to 116. I think you're probably right. I know I'm right. But uh, it's it's decent. Um, I think we have enough of these junky old go-karts to the point where we could put a bunch of six and a halfs on them and just have a bunch of friends over and uh, do the go-kart version of uh, Cletus's Freedom 500. So, you got, got any final thoughts? Your yard's still wet. I know, man. I keep waiting for it to dry up, but it's just not there yet. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I wonder if the uh, the spark plug wire is getting wet, causing the problems. Because it seemed like it only ran bad when I went through the water. That's true. 
That's it. But like when it was running good, it was running really good. Only whenever I wasn't in the water. So I'm wondering if there's an issue with, uh, you know, electricity finding the water and saying, hey, I like you better. Because it only runs bad when I run through water. Yep. So kind of, anyhow, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we may revisit in a future episode or we may re go just straight go to big <clears throat> engine on this thing. I say big engine. <laughs> So we're gonna to need to upgrade the axle, the wheels, the tires, everything else. So we need to gather some parts. Yep. We have a couple, a couple other projects to work on in the meantime. Right. But uh, I think this was pretty fun, dude. Twenty bucks plus a carburetor plus it was a fun. chain. It was fun. You can't beat that. It was that. real fun. Yeah. So thanks for watching this episode, everybody. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to Cars and Cameras for more go kart mini bike content. And if you really like listening to us talk, go subscribe to our podcast channel at the Wheel at with Cars and Cameras. Um, we're live streaming our podcast to this channel cars and cameras about every two weeks but you can find all the archives on our second channel at the wheel with cars and cameras uh, if you want to help support the channel go to our website cars-cameras.com pick up a mini mayhem t-shirt or one of our uh, hoodies or sticker packs or hats and you can find me on facebook at cars and cameras reviews and john underscore cars and cameras on instagram for sneak peeks in between youtube episodes you can find ike at isaac will be fine on youtube and instagram uh, thanks again for watching guys and we got to thank our sponsor gopowersports.com for hooking us up with the parts in today's episode and uh, we will catch you next time what were you saying we go nuts with this one. How's that? I don't know. Just V twin. The do we have one? We don't have one here. No. Um, the frame has been welded together, so it's not like we'd be ruining a go kart frame because it's definitely been compromised.